Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for my late nights early mornings vlog. Today I am doing an unboxing from a meal delivery service that you guys have probably all at least heard of and that is HelloFresh. So you probably see that box there. Um, I have been ordering with them for a few months now probably since the pandemic started. Um, in my area we were one of the first areas to closed down on this side on the east coast in Virginia um northern Virginia so we got out of school um because I am a teacher so we shut down probably about mid-March and at that, that time we were thinking we'd only be out for you know two or three weeks just until um you know they figured out how we could return to school safely or kind of figured out what the prognosis of of the virus was but then of course as everyone knows now we remained out for the rest of the school year and we're still currently out um during virtual learning now that the school year has started so i've been doing hello fresh probably since about the end of march beginning of april i always wanted to try these meal boxes but i never really um just had the time to kind of sit down and see what all it had to offer and what better time than you know a time when staying in is really the best plan of action so having food come to my door just like all the rest of my amazon packages why not so um i am a little bit spoiled at this point um but yes so hello fresh this is one of my mini boxes that i've ordered and it just came today i do the three meal per week for two people plan even though it's just me um two is the smallest serving amount that you can choose when you choose they have several options um so if you have a large family they do have a meal plan that covers that i believe they go up to seven if i remember correctly um seven people so it'd be like seven servings and um you can choose to have the enough meals for however many days of the week that you want I do the three meals because I think it's a good balance. And like I said, because it's just me and it's two servings per meal, essentially that's like having six meals for the week in my box because, you know, I get to eat each meal twice. And I usually do like a dinner and dinner the first night and then lunch the second day is my leftovers. So let's get into the fun part, which is the unboxing. So it's just a regular um, cardboard box. And what you see here is that um, HelloFresh is a very eco-friendly and they do tell you that on their boxes as well as um, some of the stuff that's on the inside. So when you unpack the box, you can recycle the box, of course, because it's just cardboard. Um, you can empty the ice packs that come in it. And once they melt it, you can drain and dispose this direct it. Um, basically just recycle the box and the ice packs. I'll show you all the goodies. Let me see, this is what it comes with. It always comes with like a little goodie envelope that usually has a coupon to some kind of other service, not a meal service, but like sometimes it's wine or a discount or something. And sometimes they also give you um, sample goodies. Like I've gotten candy, chocolate, even received a, um, even received a lemonade, I believe it was, or some form of juice. Um, to try out so yeah definitely like that so in that particular envelope there's a $60 wine voucher for WSJ wine so the Wall Street Journal wine they give all kinds of goodies like that in those boxes so um, next on top you usually have your recipes for whatever you order so one thing about HelloFresh that I really love is that you know I'm a bit of a picky eater um, so having a lot of options that aren't that aren't like something crazy or over the top is great. So these are what I would consider regular meals that you would necessarily cook or buy or eat yourself. I mean, or make yourself. So it's not something so crazy that you, you know, wouldn't necessarily know what it is or it'd be so out there or so different that you wouldn't be sure if you would like it. It's pretty, you know, basic food. They do have um, kind of like a next tier with like steak and, shrimp and other things sometimes shrimp and steak are included in the regular lineup but they do kind of have like a um what i call like the upgraded meals and those usually cost you a little bit more um typically the servings are 
the price is like $7.99 a serving, I believe it is. And then if you want to get one of those, what I call the um, VIP meals or the, um, the upper level meals, then they tend to cost $9.99 per serving. So you pay a little bit for that, a little bit more for that, but you usually have a higher quality of meat or a bigger quantity of food. Or I'm sorry, not bigger quantity, but like just a higher quality of meat and it may be more ingredients. But typically you get three things um, for each meal. So you'll get like a protein or a meat, um, some form of vegetable or green, and then a third item. So in this case, um, the three meals that I have here, we'll look at why that seems slightly out of focus but okay um the first meal that i have here is the honey drizzled paprika chicken with cheesy garlic butter biscuits and green beans so that's just a chicken breast and then of course those are biscuits and green beans so that's my meal um it also gives you the health the nutrition information so 610 calories um it says it doesn't take any time to prep and prep is like you know do you have to cut anything do you have to season anything all of that so prep time says zero minutes and takes 30 minutes to cook and i would assume that's probably from the beans and the chicken although the biscuits will probably take a little while too um like i said i'm a pretty picky eater and i don't always branch out but sometimes i do and meal services like this give you that opportunity to try something new or prepare like things that you normally eat like i love chicken so i'm always looking for new ways to prepare it and these meal services give you that on the back side they give you like a step-by-step -step prep guide so it kind of um shows you what to do and how to do it and for how long and it also gives you a list of your ingredients. So it tells you like what you'll need. Um, and if you need anything extra, like usually the extras will be like salt, pepper, something that you probably already have in your house or your fridge. So you don't have to worry about like going out and buying something um, or another ingredient to cook, cook, just like the little extras that, like I said, are usually household things, even if you're not someone who cooks typically. Um, on the front of the card, it does show you your ingredients that should be included in your box for the meal. Um, and sometimes they give you little tips. So like the Hello Cheesy Garlic Butter Biscuits, they kind of tell you a little bit about them. So again, it's the first meal. And of course, those are Pillsbury Biscuits. So they kind of give you a little info about them if you're not familiar with Pillsbury Biscuits, which uh, I am. It's a household staple for me. Um, chicken, bacon, and mozzarella mozzarella ravioli this looks so good to me and i have had other um ravioli dishes from them that i really liked so that's why i took a chance on this um it also has kale and a creamy garlic parmesan sauce so a little bit of the healthy there with the kale um prep time is five minutes 15 minutes to cook and 560 calories and again it shows your ingredients tells you about the ravioli um these raviolis are tender pasta pillows stuffed with chicken savory salty savory bacon and melting mozzarella so all of that is inside um the ravioli already so all you have to do is just cook that and then you just add your kale and sprinkle on your um cheese and sauce so i am so excited for this i think this might be dinner tonight because i remember picking this one and i was really looking forward to it so again they show you your steps to cook and they tell you what you need so the bust out is always what you need pasta perfect the easiest way to tell when the ravioli is done is to um watch them float at the top of your pot and once they're all bobbing they're ready so they always give you little helpful hints so even if you're someone who does not cook normally or you're not really familiar with you know how life works in the kitchen hello fresh kind of really guides you they give you a lot of tips and tricks to have the best results and also, you know, they give you the exact um, measurements and amounts of time that you need to cook your food. So that, so that's why I would say HelloFresh, as well as some of the other meal services, um, they treat you as if you have no experience in the kitchen. And I mean, the good thing about that is it's for people who, you know, may not be cooks normally but they want to be able to prepare a home cooked meal instead of you know have a fast food or eating out all the time so hello fresh gives you that opportunity 
and it, at an affordable price. So I'll get into the pricing shortly. And the last meal here is the um, creamy dill chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans. I have had that before, um, or had this meal before, or at least the grill the dill chicken, and it's very good. Again, that's the chicken breast, the potatoes, and then the green beans. The potatoes come whole, and you do have to cut them up into the little pieces. And this just gives you a little info about the creamy dill sauce. And again, short prep, 10 minutes, 30 minutes to cook, and 500 calories. So as you can see, my um, largest calorie meal was the first one, the honey drizzled paprika chicken. And it's only 610 calories. So if you're someone who's calorie counting, you know, none of those meals are really going to take up a lot of your calories. And because they are proportioned out like each meal i get two servings or enough food to prepare two servings of this food so it makes it so easy for me to um make sure i'm eating the appropriate amounts like not overeating and i love that and i think if you are on a weight loss journey or if you're just trying to be healthier in general which is my thing just trying to be a healthier person with you know food and i like to cook anyway so um hello fresh is good for that so showing you what the box looks like um, other than you start with your recipe cards on top and then as you open the box the first layer is usually the non perishables or um, or just like the little ingredients that don't necessarily have to go in the fridge or at least not right away they usually sit on the top and everything is labeled which is great once again um, so this bag has the ingredients for some of the ingredients for the chicken bacon and mozzarella ravioli The meat is always on the bottom layer and it's got ice packed on the bottom as well as on the top What's usually inside These bags would be like the potatoes um, Your seasonings or sauces that you might that um, are needed for the dish as well as the vegetables so like the green beans that are in the dishes the potatoes those things would be um the can of biscuits like those things would be in these bags so you get a bag labeled for each um meal and then at the very bottom as you can see they package it very nicely and again all this eco-friendly cardboard and recyclable material these are the ice packs and then as you dig under there, you see the things that need to be refrigerated, such as your meat. And there's my um, ravioli. So usually what I do when I get a box is I go ahead and take everything out and I set my meat um, in the fridge. And also I put the bags in the fridge too, even though most of the stuff in the bags usually don't have to be refrigerated, or at least not right away. Sometimes it will have like butter or something in it. So you do need to keep it cool. But the... Um, as you can see too around the edges it's insulated with the plastic and um, this is also papery so it keeps the um, temperature of the box good so like you know you don't have to be home to get a hello fresh box you know clearly right now we're home but this is something that I could order if we ever do go back to school this year and I usually get home around um, 4 30 or so from work so these boxes tend to come about midday so probably around between 12 and 2 from what i've experienced being home so um you know the box doesn't have to be put in the fridge right away you don't have to be home to receive it to you know put everything up and i want to say that they're really made to last for almost 24 hours unrefrigerated i wouldn't recommend that but i think they are created to last that long in the event that you know maybe um, something happens in the shipping process or um, you know maybe you order and you're out of town but you have like a reoccurring situation where your things that you ordered are there you can see the meat this is how it's packaged for the most part this is the chicken breast cutlets here and I'm pretty sure that that's for both meals because as you remember I had two meals that have chicken And again, that's the bottom with the ice packs there. So what I usually do after I finish unpacking is just put it with the box by um, by my trash can to take out to the recycling, um, down to the trash room with the recycling bin. 
All right. So now I think I'm going to pick a meal and then we will be back with my preparation.